Virgo. Welcome to your May Love Connection reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at a love connection that you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have to at least know each other. So whatever your situation is, we'll look into your connection. Um, if you're single, um, you can be single and have a connection with somebody also. So however that resonates for you. But if you're totally single and you don't have anybody, I did just release all the April singles readings. So you may go look on my channel uh, for your playlist for your sign and feel free to watch that and uh, see if that resonates for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching, could be past, present, or future. Um, energies can be interchangeable, so please keep that in mind. If it's not your story, please don't try to make it fit. Um, then it's probably just not your energy this time, so hold off for future readings or check the description box below for your playlist to your love in general. Maybe something there will resonate. I do consider them timeless, so feel free to check that out. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy during this time. So let's see what's going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus at this time in love for May. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So if we get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how this resonates into your reading. So what I'm gonna do here is first I'm gonna pick one of these cards, or if you're new, I'm gonna pick one of these cards, see what we get. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. It's sort of like a little extra bonus. Then I'll pull an opening message with this. Um, this is a new deck for me. It's called The Journey of Love. I'll, op I'll pull an opening message about your love connection, the energy of your love connection, and then I'll pull one for you, one for your person, how you're both feeling towards each other in the connection. We'll clarify those energies with the tarot and then look into the actual situation, advice for the situation and possible outcome. And then we'll get some extra uh, messages at the end with this oracle too. I go over all the bottoms of the decks. So that's what we'll be doing here. All right, so let's pull one of these for you, Virgo. We could get an element, sign, or planet. Oh, that's too many. Just want one for Virgo. Love. Let's take that one. Let's see what we have. We have Taurus. So some of you could be dealing with a fellow Taurus sign, fellow um, Earth sign, rather. If not, totally fine. Or maybe they have it in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or maybe you have it in your chart. So if not, that's totally fine. But Taurus does represent the Hierophant in the Tarot, which does represent marriage, commitment, uh, morals and values, faith, spirituality, um, those kind of things. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So, okay. So let's get one of these for opening love energy between you and your person, whoever Virgo is thinking about at this time for this reading. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Cards are a little sticky. I have played with them a little bit and gone through them and shuffled them up, but they're still kind of like to stick together. So, all right. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, what is the current love connection energy between Virgo uh, and their person? Let's get one good shuffle. Let's get one good shuffle for Virgo. Thank you. All right. What is the current love connection energy between Virgo and their person, whoever they're thinking about at this time, failing that one? And we have the swan, number 67 there, which is 13, which is four, which is about stability, foundation. So the swan is about grace, uh, grace and that kind of energy, being graceful. So there may be something very like calm, peaceful, graceful, grateful between you and your connection that you're having with someone right now. Maybe it's kind of just flowing effortlessly and you think of a swan, how uh, they just kind of float you know, on the water. Hmm, okay. So, all right, well, we got two here. So one for you. I'm gonna put you on this side, Virgo, and your person on this side, but at any time, if you feel like the energies need to be switched or changed, please feel free to do that. Not every single part of this may resonate. Take only what resonates. It's switch it wherever you need to switch it. That's how tarot works. It's for the general collective. It's not a private reading. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have for you. She is the moon. 
21, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, coming together. So she is the moon is about intuition, trusting, cycles, um, emotions, and feelings. So let's see what your person has. And we have shifting universes, and we have seven. Seven is a very spiritually, divinely guided number. So your person here may be between two worlds right now. Maybe um, they could be at a distance. Of course, everybody's distant right now because of the current situation. Uh, there could be distance between you or maybe they're shifting universes right now, shifting out of a situation in their life, um, shifting into like a new life. I feel like you're like trusting your intuition. You're like waiting for maybe their cycle because I see cycle here too. It's like the same energy. So maybe you're waiting, um, trusting your intuition, waiting. You know, I feel like you probably have deep, emo deep emotions for this person. You're waiting for them to end a cycle. But right now, I feel like they're between two lives or be in between uh, two cycles, shifting from one life to another life. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have seed of the heart. So 25-7 again about a very spiritual divine number. So seed of the heart about is about something being planted in the heart. You know, something's growing, something's um, maturing, something's blossoming, something's growing and blossoming here. So definitely feel like seed of love has been planted between two here. I feel like you could be gracefully, just gracefully waiting for them or vice versa, however that works for you, for them to shift out of whatever their situation they're in now into their new life and you're just kind of sitting there you know trusting like the swan they're just kind of sitting there trusting you know everything will be fine waiting you know just peacefully waiting i feel all right so but i definitely feel like the seed of love has been planted between the two of you so let's see where we go Everything you need to know, Virgo, is down below in the description box. Uh, your playlist, uh, how to reach out for private reading, decks I'm using. Tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. And if you're new and you like how I read, uh, check out my channel too. And feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get five readings a month. So if you do, thank you. All right, so what is... It's too many. For Virgo, she is the moon. It says she, but you could be a she or he. Um... However, that resonates for you. All right. So what is this moon about? Six of Cups. Yeah. So you definitely feel like this is a past life connection, a deep soulmate connection. Uh, you could have known them for a long time, since childhood or something like that. And you could be just thinking back fondly on memories that you've had with them so far. Nostalgia. All right. What else here? And the Cups there. Again, uh, representing deep feelings, emotions, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. And did I not just see how that flipped out? That was just crazy. So, and here's that earth energy. So I feel like, um, again, I feel like you're waiting for, and this is Taurus energy. Knight of Pentacles is Taurus energy. And I feel like you're waiting, you, you know, waiting. It's slow, slow moving here because of the current situations, but you're like gracefully waiting just trusting, you know this is a deep soul connection, soulmate connection, past life connection, or whatever here. And you're just patiently waiting, gracefully, until this offer comes in, until they can, I feel like, leave whatever situation they're in and come to you and offer you this big pentacle right here. Wow, okay. So let's see what they're in a shifting universe. Yeah, they're still... They're still, though, a little blocked off or maybe indecisive um, here because I feel like two, I felt like two worlds, and here's the two, the two worlds. So they're kind of like in limbo right now because they're in the, could be in the middle of, you know, getting divorced or, you know, maybe they live far away and, you know, they're, they have to move closer or waiting for this whole pandemic to be over. Whatever the situation is, is here, whatever you're waiting for the shift of the universe or their life or whatever here. I feel like this is, you know, this is them too waiting. 
because of current situations, the star. So we have healing. There's that universal energy. So we have Aquarius here. So we have, I'll say the signs, but don't get too caught up with, on the signs if they're not a Taurus. But if I do mention a sign, someone rising or Venus that you could be dealing with. Um, so let's see. So we have Aquarius here. So this is faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, healing energy. They could be in the process of healing too. Uh, but whatever their journey is, I think it's leading them to you eventually because here's the offer. And this is divinely guided energy. They also know it's a divinely guided um, connection also. It's like they're following their faith also. Wow. Okay. So let's look at the actual situation for you Virgo 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 six of pentacles yep you're waiting for uh equal reciprocity balance equal give and take equal exchange you're waiting for things to be balanced between the two of you four of swords so here's that healing thinking contemplating resting rejuvenating you know we're all in isolation right now all in isolation so again isolation and I feel like it maybe it's because of this whole virus thing that you can't be together right now and maybe that's uh what this energy is so how it resonates for you so five of swords so I just got the message that some of you are like okay you know what let's just meet up anyway who cares about this whole virus thing but this five of swords is sometimes cannot you know can't be a good energy sometimes so that's like doing whatever you want no matter what so it's like you're both probably in that energy like oh who cares let's just you know be together but you know that's not the wisest uh energy so if it's not because of the virus or something else uh if it's because they're still attached to something or whatever here i feel like you're both in the energy of like you know what let's just be together who cares what else is going on but i don't know let's see Let's see what else here for the actual situation. Page of Wands. Yeah. So is that fiery, passionate communication. Um, good news coming in. So they definitely want to del deliver this passionate communication and good news to you. Uh, once something uh, is completed for them or when they're able to, however that resonates for you. The Wheel of Fortune. So they know this is fate, destiny. Two cards of fate and destiny. Sagittarius energy here. With the star and the wheel, that's fate, that's destiny. The wheel here, fate, fortune, um, divine timing, when the time is right. So when the time is right, they definitely will be contacting you. Passionate messages back and forth, good news. Um, either, you know, maybe they are sick. Maybe they, you know, God forbid, maybe they did get sick during this time. And, you know, the star is about healing. So once, you know, they're healed, uh, you're coming forward here. This is meant to be. Whatever that's happening here is meant to be, especially with the star and the wheel. They know it. You know it. But right now, uh, you can't be together, but you're feeling like you want to anyway. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. Let's get advice for this connection. For you, Virgo. What's the advice for Virgo in this connection? What is that vice for the connection for Virgo, the devil? So that could be that toxic energy of, okay, let's be together no matter what. I don't really care. There's a strong tug and pull here between the two of you. Could be a lot of, you know, attraction and passion and that kind of energy. Or, you know, I feel like too that energy of like, let's just be together. I don't care. I don't care if I get sick or if you're sick. I just don't care. So yeah, Queen of Wands, King or Queen of Wands, doesn't matter here. So um, this is Aries energy. So this is, you know, again, that go-getter, fiery, passionate um, energy. A lot of drive, ambition, goes after what they want. Five of Cups, so sadness. Sadness, regret. I think if you give in to the temptation, the desire, the lust, or whatever to be together and knowing that the time is not right because this is the energy of like going for it with the Queen of Wands because of temptation or lust or just the desire to be together even though you shouldn't right now. 
whatever here will lead to some sort of sadness and hurt right here. So regret. That's the advice. So what? One more, one more for Virgo. Ace of Swords. Wow. This is my Divine Clarity card. This is a sort, you know, sort of truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up, telling it like it is, not backing down. Aha, epiphany, uh, kind of energy. Also, my divine intervention, my divine clarity card from the, the divine saying this is the truth of the matter. That if you come together now in a time when you shouldn't, it's just going to lead to some sort of sadness and regret instead of waiting. And that is the truth of the matter. So I think you need to wait. Uh, whatever the circumstances are here, as much as you want to be together, no matter what, you don't care what's going on in the world or what's going on in their world or your world. Um, I think you need to wait because there'll be some sort of sadness here for some reason. So however that makes sense for you. So let's see the possible outcome on this connection. It's saying here just to wait gracefully and trust your gut and your intuition knowing that they're going through a cycle the world's going through a cycle and that they'll be coming together when the time is right with the wheel there things will be balanced possible outcome here yeah so coming off uh, forward here with an offer of love affection love offer there will be a love offer made in the future in the world once the world heals or you know they close the chapter out with the world energy um because we did have um what what did this say now changing universes or something like that shifting universes so and that reminded me of the world energy and here it is so you know once chapters are completed new chapters can begin uh cycles are closed out because i had this energy here of cycles with the moon so you know they're closing out a cycle or you're waiting for just the universe to close out this cycle that we're in right now, that um, new cycles will start. And the world here is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So let's get one more for the final outcome here for Virgo. For Virgo, Nine of Cups. So happiness, joy, f wish fulfillment. Two cards of wish fulfillment. So you both could be single when so you could be single or you know however this is whoever needs to become single or whether you're just single now and waiting you know there's a, a waiting period right now for some reason um this is wishes dreams coming true happiness joy fulfillment in every single way so there will be wishes and dreams coming true we have that up here too with aquarius with the star uh once chapters closed out a new chapter can begin and the love offer will be made here so and on the bottom, we have Eight of Swords. So, yeah, we're all stuck and bound right now in the world that we're in. <laughs> the Eight of Swords. So maybe just, you know, working on yourself. Where, you know, some, maybe some here still are working. Or just, you know, trying to keep busy at home. Keeping occupied by doing maybe arts, crafts, uh, hobbies, things like that. But here's the offer. So we have the cup over here for the offer of love. And then we have the pentacle over here for stability long term. You know, it's something you can trust. It's grounded, it's secure. So this is a long-term offer, uh, security, stability, growth, abundance for the long term. Eight of Cups. So somebody here needs, whether it's you or them, somebody needs to walk away from some sort of cycle or shift or wait. And, you know, when there's a waiting period, also uh, walk, coming back. Once things are healed and balanced here, just to be patient. So needing patience here while things heal and balance out. Very strong bond between the two of you with strength here. Having courage, strength, bravery to get through this. Uh, endurance, willpower to hold back. Because there will be a leap of faith here with the full energy. Resetting at zero, jumping right in. And having a leap of faith. So that's Aquarius. And we also have Leo here, Sagittarius again. So that's what I see. I see there will be a come to get coming together. Could be long term commitment here, past life soulmates, soulmates in this life. There's healing, divine timings at play. Um, an offer of love will be made, but don't give in to into temptation, lust, desire to come together no matter what because 
Maybe you just can't be without each other right now because of the current situations. If you're separated, maybe they were traveling and they're stuck wherever they were. Um, that's what the world energy too can be travel. So maybe they're stuck in another country or far away from you right now and they can't come back to you. But they will be coming back. Just know that because they're both looking at each other here. We'll be coming back. Okay, so just wait it out gracefully. <laughs> that makes sense for you. Again, if this isn't your story or your, your reading, don't try to make it fit. I'll leave negative comments because I will delete them. All right. Virgo. Let's get some uh, extra messages for you, Virgo. Extra messages for Virgo. Spirit, please, for this connection. Extra messages for Virgo. This connection. Wow. Okay. We have two. Wow, well, look at the heart here. Soul mating. I can't make this up. Seven, again, divinely guided spiritual energy. This is a divinely guided connection that will come together in divine timing. Soul mating. So, yeah, definite soulmates here. And then we have light beings. 35, which is eight. Eight, uh, eight is about action, travel, communication. So you may be connecting like in the fifth dimension with them if uh, some of you are aware of that. Um, or you could be light workers. The two of you could be light workers also. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Alignment. Yeah. We have to wait for everything to come into alignment. Once the heart, here's a sword. I can't make it up. Here's a sword again telling you that when things are aligned, when the world is once aligned, Everything is aligned, divine timing. This will come together. It's just, there's a period of waiting right now. We have 14, five, which is change. So once there's change in the world and situations, everything is in alignment where soulmates can come back together here in divine timing, then uh, this will happen. And here's that Ace of Swords again with the heart right there. Well, in the meantime, create space for this person <laughs> in your heart, in your mind, in your surroundings. Just create space for them. We have 83 here, which is 11, which is half of the twin flame number for me. But then add that together. It's two again about unity. So create space for them, Virgo. Okay, Virgo, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.